And welcome, it's time for the dailies, well at least the headlines, and I ha uh, have the uh, colour contrasting wow. uh, TT here with me. Why did you pick green? Uh, well, I don't know. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to be sinking often, you're not sinking. It me. was actually, I just picked up the first thing I could find okay, actually right. on a Monday well, morning. Together let's do, the, uh, <laughs> let's do the papers yeah. disregarding how colour contrasted we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to start from the Guardian newspaper this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, top headline here, CBN's top officials on tightrope as special investigation peaks as the first big headline you find on the Guardian newspaper. Um, along with that is a chart and this is uh, commented on it. Cardoso comes at a time when the Naira is weak and inflation pushes households further into poverty. There are chats uh, or rather um, units there to um, drive home the point. At the bottom of that, Sarah Absu is still over states' life perks for Wiki and others. There's plenty of talk about that from over the weekend and more inside of The Guardian here. 19 year, or years on, human rights languish amid African courts protocol. From before that, Tinubu nominates Ibrahim Olawande as minister, keeps mum on El Rufai's replacement. And Unger, 78, only 15% of SDGs targets are on track, says UN. Beneficiaries complain as CBN moves to recover COVID-19 loans. Mm. Well, you'd wonder when they were going to do that. I mean, that yeah. was about that was bound to happen yeah, in any case. These yeah. were loans. But I still think that if we had the best economy or a better economy, that these loans might have been perhaps they could have forgiven. been waived. Waived yeah. exactly because yeah. I mean, it's COVID I think some countries tried to waive mm. them with healthy economies, but then it did affect their economies really mm. badly. Okay. I think uh, I think Greece, it happened in Greece. I think it also happened in Italy uh, because a lot of the people that were even taking out loans were of a certain age mm -hmm. that they wouldn't have been given loans in the first, in the first place. place. Um, in, in the end, yeah, mm. it's time to pay the piper. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice reference there. Now, this one um, got me over the weekend. Usher Governor, uh, Governor Adeleke suspects sabotage after escaping airplane incident. Now, did you hear about that one? The incident involving the governor and the airplane, you know, uh, instance there. Uh, I, I, I can't say specifically exactly what might have or who could have, but it's the suggestion that worries me to cry sabotage would mean that, you know, that's a very big allegation to make. Huge. And it, you know how big investigations are when it comes to anything to do with aircraft or aviation. Mm -hmm. The investigations run deep. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, we will definitely be looking out for that story. And uh, it's a developing mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. we'll be looking out for. All right, what's your paper? What do you got? I have the Daily Trust here with me now. It says here... Auditor General's absence stalls audit of MDAs for three years. Constitution allows acting for six months only. Uh, office poorly funded since 1999. Vacuum makes governance susceptible to mismanagement, according to Senate panel. And uh, Tinobu will appoint substantive Auditor General soon, according to presidency. Just below the masthead there, it says here, airstrike destroys over 30 illegal oil refining sites in rivers, mm. uh, 2.34 trillion naira spent on debt servicing in six months, according to the DMO. Uh, Tinubu appoints two ministers for youth's ministry. And uh, in the photo story there, uh, some of the photos of uh, the flooding situation in some streets, yes. uh, some areas of Lagos State. Mm. Some of the impact of the flood there will probably you know, yeah. be seen yeah. and experienced a bit later on. I, I guess maybe we'll find out on other headlines inside of the other papers we're about to take. Let's move on straight now into the Punch newspaper. Yeah. Marketers eye fresh fuel price hike as crude hits $94. Nato plans price hike raises concern over FG's insistence on $679 per litre petrol price. Operators insist petrol subsidy returning gradually. NNPLC or rather NNPCL gets three new VPs. So I guess we're not over that hill yet. Just maybe at the summit. At the top of the punch newspaper, Umahi woos, uh, woos presidency as contractors oppose concrete roads. And 12.5 kilogram cooking gas price may hit 18 thousand naira i heard that pause in december <laughs> the way you paused yeah i i needed to pause for effect wow. Eighteen thousand naira yeah. but we had a price drop 
mm. only just recently, which we all celebrated. And mm. It's like they're taking back all that money from before. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, so I guess uh, we, we're buying gas this week then. <laughs> no, don't, don't start a panic. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, uh, federal government labor meet today on post-subsidy talks, mm -hmm. uh, just to wrap it up on the cover of the, of the punch there. And um, on um, two hospitalized as 500 room uh, Lagos building collapses, I have a feeling it has something to do with the rain mm -hmm. yeah. as well. All right, at this point, we're going to wrap it up on the covers of the dailies. Please tell us what you think. Uh, share your opinions. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. When yes, you let indeed. Us know.